Oh, hey guys, sorry, Target Cycling FPV, and we're gonna do something. I'm getting ready to ship something out to a customer of mine. And let me just do this screen thing here. My cameras are all twisted and not angled right. Let's see if we get that right. Is that right? That's good. All right. Uh, so I'm going to open this. This is our. This is one of our uh, power um, uh, supplies that we offer. This is a 24 volt power supply. Okay. And one of the things that obviously is clear is that you don't always want to give something 24 volts, right? So I'm going to actually use this JHEMCU uh, step down to go from 24 uh, down to um, 12. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be, right here, is gonna be our outputs. And what we wanna do is we're gonna make two of these outputs. Uh, we're gonna make one output for 12 volt. We're gonna leave the other one at 20. Uh, I guess we'll leave it at 24 volt, okay? So let me see how I wanna do this. Best way to do it, I think, let me go ahead and open this up. Best way to do this, in my opinion, is going to be to, let's see, let's solder this up. You know what, while I'm doing this, I'm starting to think that maybe I will just make this, well, this is kind of interesting. So let me think here. So if I was to do a step down, instead of coming out of the unit, hmm. okay. Because the wiring is kind of small, but it is only gonna be the three amps. So let me see how I would do this. Best way to do this. It's going to be kind of tricky, I think, given the size of the wiring. But if I made it here with XT60, right? I'll try it like this. I don't know. I mean, I had a plan, and then as I'm looking at this, I'm going, wait, this is something different. Hey, babe, what is the thinnest XT60? Uh, 16 gauge. 16 gauge? Yeah, we don't have anything thinner than that. Which one's that? Is that pretty much like it? Yeah, that's the thinnest. Can you get me two of these then? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, but give me, do we have them in both male and female or no? Uh, I don't think so. We just have them. Okay. It's going to be very close to the pads here. It still work though. Let's see. All right, thanks, babe. Uh, all right, let's. Sorry, there's an Archer M Plus on the drum. Yeah, it's installed on the drum. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we're going to come off a 16 gauge. Ah, this should work. Okay, let's give this a shot. Um, we got 16 gauge wire, right, babe? Uh huh. Okay. He's good to go. Uh, I need to clean them up. So, uh, did you get the Velcro squares? No, I'll go get those. Yeah, we have those, and I'll clean those up. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna make this now because it, uh, it just came to me. This might be a pretty cool little idea. So we'll make the wire not too long, right? Um, so let's do this. All right. We're gonna match it on the black as well. Tin these up. Let's make sure all those, make sure all the strands you get in between all the strands, right? Perfect. All right. Then we're going to twist it up real tight. We've got a real, real, real limited amount of space here to solder this on. So I'm just going to do my best to make sure that we get a good, clean solder. Um, and I think for that, my desk is kind of up in shambles right now because I've been doing so much crap here. Let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to take our helping hands and I'm going to get my Magoo glasses. All right, let's look at the other side of this. So what we have is we have the input uh, from 6 to 36 volts and we have ground and then ground and then output. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two on one side it's very close to the cap, so let me just flip this over and see what we can do on this side. Okay. A 
let's go ahead, tin up our wires now. Try to keep them as thin as possible. And that's gonna, we're gonna, this is gonna be part of our input. So we're gonna come over here. We're just going to, come on, I need you to just sit still. All right, just be helping hands. You need to help me a little bit better than this. Sit still. There we go. Okay, there's our positive. It's actually on there pretty good. Yeah, that took real well. Okay, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over for the ground. Try to keep these as far away from each other as possible. So let me see if I got enough room for that. Okay. And then let me get my ground wire here. Now this is gonna be rather long, so I'm gonna have to cut this down very, very short. Let's go ahead and tin it up first. short to like, like that. That should be pretty good. For this one, I think what I'm going to do get as much help as I can here to make this go as perfectly straight as possible. <sighs> All right, so let's get the ground on. Mm, it's okay. I want to clean that up just a little bit. That looks good. Let's see how that came out. Oh yeah, that's pretty solid right there. So that's gonna be our input, right? And then what we wanna do is we wanna take our output to be one of these. So we'll do our, um, we can still put our ground here. I'm not worried about that one. So we're gonna put our ground here. So let me just get the flux pen and hit it again over here, okay? Let's get this set up right here. And I don't really feel like dealing with other solder, so I'm just gonna try to really get my solder to soak in right here. To melt all the way through properly. It looks like it has. Perfect. All right. Again, we're gonna cut the ground a little short. Like that. Reaching over isn't going to be any fun, but I haven't tinned this either, so let me tin it real quick.
put this on the bench now. Okay, we have to rethink this plan a little bit. Let me just go in the center of these two. Now. That may actually work out better for me. Okay, we've got one more to go. I just realized that it would be better if I turn this around. All right, let's see how this works. All right, let's see if it's continuity first. Let's see if it passes. Okay. All right. Okay, first thing we'll do is we'll test positive and ground here, 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 and here. And we'll test positive here, here, and here. Okay, we have nothing there. Now we'll go on the other side and test it again. Okay. So, this should... I need to test one more. Okay, 
That should do it. This should be our little piece. Well, that was a little bit of a pain. I wasn't planning on doing that, but it'll be interesting to see. So let's go ahead now. Obviously, I'm going to want to um, you know, heat shrink this closed when we're done, which we will do. First, let me just tin this up. kind of long. Make it easier to fasten. I don't think that's going to be too long at all. Let's give it a shot. So we're going to put, um, opening this up, we're going to do our voltage out. Put my screwdriver real quick. I thought I had one here, but of course not. Oh, wait, no, I do. Right here. Right, so let's take our ground. Okay, and let's pick one of our positives. Uh, well, we'll just go on the outside, I guess. To make the inside standard voltage. Nope. So if this works out right, we should end up with. I'll go ahead and screw these wires in. Okay. So now we're going to get ready to tie this in. Um, so uh, if you want to know your colors here, uh, slot one uh, is going to be yellow green. So we're going to go ahead and open slot one here. Okay, and we're going to put yellow green right there, like that. Okay. Uh, brown will be your two or your neutral. And blue will be your one. this in. Let's hope for the best. Here we go. Fans on. Lights on. So let's see what we get out of here. Hopefully we're pushing 12 volts. Okay. Nope. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Got that on here we have to jump, we have to bridge the connection 
12 volts. By default, it's 5 volts. My bad. So what we need to do is look at, uh, let me see if I can show you this. Right here, there's little tiny two little pieces that you see right there. That has to be bridged for 12 volts. Forgot about that. So let me go ahead and get this ready. Right now it's putting out five volts. So then, okay, now let's plug it in. Let's see what we get. Okay, lights are on. There we go. I think my meter is what's goofing up, actually. But we're holding our 12 volts right there. Okay? So this will be our... St oh, you guys can't see. All right, so now that we've got it re-soldered, let's take a look. And there we go, we have our 12 volts. So that's it, and that's how you're gonna get your 12 volts out of this. So glad that's gonna work. And then, so that doesn't come with this. Obviously, if you decide you wanna order one of these, uh, this is actually for a customer of mine named Al. Pretty cool guy, been very patient waiting on me to get some stuff done. So I am going to uh, leave this attached for him. I just did this for him, uh, so he wouldn't have to mess with it too much. Um, but if you want that, I'll put that, I'll put those parts together on the site so that you guys know what you need to order for it. Okay, now for his, I am not done because I'm going to, and Al, I'm gonna point this out to you about is I'm going to remove these two screws. I'm gonna remove these wires because you can put them however you wish, okay? I don't know how you're gonna want them, but I just did the ends for now. You also are gonna get this XT60, okay, that you can use for the other voltage. So let me put that in there, put this in the box. And then I need to heat shrink this closed. Pretty simple, just you gotta be careful when you're soldering this thing. Go ahead and close that up now. Uh, let's see, I will take clear heat shrink so that you can watch it in case there's ever a problem. You're not left in the dark with it. All right, here we go. There it is, a little 12 volt converter to drop that 24 volts down. Guys, if you're interested in that, if you need something like that, just let me know. Put this in the box now, get it on its way. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. I know that was the camera stuff. I had to cut this up a little bit because I have so much stuff going on around here and I didn't realize I was blocking the camera. All right, if you have any questions, guys, as always, you can always go to our Facebook page, 
um, and, and check us out. We do have our Facebook groups, which you can see down there. That's our address to our Facebook groups as well. And then, uh, as always, if you would, whoa, 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 I'm pushing too many things. If you would, please subscribe. Support us and subscribe to uh, our channel. Really appreciate it. All right, guys, God bless, be safe, and we shall see you soon. Peace.